you, Cypher. India's first multi-gaming, multi-platform e-sports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage. And three points each are awarded to the winning team of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. U Cypher, six teams, 84 cyber athletes and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. Over the last five weeks, six teams and 84 of India's best gamers from across the country had come together in search of just one thing, becoming India's best all-round gaming unit. And with that end goal of being here at the grand finale, we're in the city of dreams and tonight, one team will be left standing as they look to realize their dream of becoming the inaugural champions of U Cypher. The teams are raring to go. The atmosphere is absolutely electrified and we're all set for the grand finale of India's first and only multiplayer, multi-platform and multi-gaming eSports championship. We're all set to go and that means we can only unravel things in the grandest way possible. With a bit of style, with a bit of razzmatazz, with some high octane energy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Lakshmi Bomb. Bring a ding ding hum gamer rat. Hum 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 superstar gamer rat. Baki sabi player abhi fail hai. Sabko khatam karna mera khel hai. Hum hum the superstar gamer rat. Mera finish move abhi sabse famous hai. Pehli kehti meri mummy tu to lazy hai. Ab kehti mera move tere crazy hai. Late night behind the locked doors. What am I doing up keeping score? You may think that I'm a bookie, but bro, I'm not a bookie, you're a bookie, I'm a bro. Booyah, come on, can you handle this? With my double combo face and my triple combo kick. Can you score today, superstar? One, two, three. Hum, game of red, game of red, game of red, game, game, game of red, superstar, game of red. Hum, game of red, game of red, game of red, game. Two teams that have qualified for the grand finale are the Sherdils and the Yakshas. Now there's so much to talk about, so much action still to come. And I can't do it without my able allies, Aisha Adlaka and Varun Sood, my co-host for the day. Guys, you've been here through the entire journey. You've got to know these guys pretty personally. Do you know which way this is going to head? Do you have a, a favourite? If you had um, to put some money on. I think we're going to end up with a tie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Who's man. gonna win the tiebreaker? Come on, guys, put you on the spot, yeah, Aisha. Thank you, Pongi Pongi. Oh, since I'm lucky for them, they're gonna, the shaders are gonna win. I'm lucky win. for them. Yeah, but I'm lucky for them. But I'm lucky for them. You guys can keep sparring off the stage as well, and we're sure we're gonna hear a lot more from both of you. So thanks, Aisha. Thanks, Varun. I think we're gonna enjoy chatting with you as Absolutely. the games wear on, and hopefully, you will actually be each team's respective lucky mascots, and we see a tie and see it go the distance as well. Let's do this. Thanks, Let's do this. thanks. It's time though to shift our attention to the two men that perhaps matter most in this grand finale. The two captains of the two sides. Let's welcome Akrit and Ritz. Welcome. Welcome guys. Big day for you. Thank you. How's it been your journey so far? Journey has been super great man. Like finding this 13 people. Ek ek banda hai mere team mein. Like I'm so happy with my team and the experience and the bonding we have. Like, you cipher bhi jeetna hai aur dost bhi kafi jeet liye maine yahan pe aake so i'm very happy and excited yeah i think if as you said if you cipher wins i think everyone is a winner build some really good bonds while you've gone through it in yeah, your own team and also opposition yeah the start i think i would when the you cipher said they are they, they will be the complete the mixture yeah to tab thoda aisa laga ki yaar ye bonding kaise hoga kaise jeetenge kaise sabse main baat karunga but jab ye start hua automatically like sabka dream ek hi tha ki you cipher jeetna hai karke 
then automatically we set it up and we, are, we reached finals. Thanks guys, I'm not going to take any more of your time. Good luck Ritz, good luck okay. for the final, good luck Akrit. Hope good it luck. is a grand final from both of you. It's going to be so much to look forward to. Both our captains are well and truly ready. This is going to be special. Let's go! Let's go! Finally, this day has come. And right now, you're one step away to be the first champions of your cipher. Yes. Must be a proud captain. Yes, super proud. Sabne bohot mehnat ki hai, sabne kafi efforts dale the aur jo dikha raha hai, hum log finals pouch gaye. We are the first and the only team to score 100. Yeah. Jo bola tha sab hua hai and I'm very proud of them, man. And abhi aaj bhi hum hi jeetne wale. Okay, Skadoosh, your cipher mein what will be that one thing? which you'll miss about Yakshas? I'll be missing a lot about Yakshas, man. I mean, there are, there are so many memories. The records, the brotherhood, the way it is in the vanity, and the way it is here, actually. I don't think there's anyone here who doesn't like us, doesn't love us. Yeah. Everybody is Yakshas family here. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel like. Akhred, yes. before starting the games, mm -hmm. any last message for Sherdils? For the share deals, my message will be that the first match was drawn. In the second match, we won 13-3 and today we will win 16-0. Let's go, Sherdils! 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 Sherdils, welcome to the finals of Hugh Cypher. You guys have finally made it. And that's not a surprise at all, honestly. Ritz, is this the dream situation? Are you exactly where you wanted to be or is there something missing? I expected that I would go to the finals, but now I'm going to go to the finals. I'm going to go to the finals. Baba, Akrid, the captain of the Yakshas is a Dota player, but your captain here, Captain Cool, is a CSGO player. And you are going to be leading him and the rest of your CSGO squad today for the last time on Cypher. Today has to be a clear win. Are we, are we, can we expect that from you guys today? Uh, expectations are quite high. I don't expect that I will win from Yakshas. I don't expect that I will win from Yakshas. I don't expect that I will win from Yakshas. I don't expect that I will win from Yakshas. 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 That awesome trophy and the money. Let's not forget the money. <laughs> we are going into the finals with the Shades and the Yakshas on the finals of U Cipher. Now sport, now superstars. Welcome to the finals of U Cipher season one. It's time to play the first game of the day. Bandai Namco Tekken 7 on the Sony PlayStation 4. Players apni characters select karenge. हर राउंड में जिसका एचपी खत्म हो जाएगा, वो राउंड हार जाएगा। हर मैच एक रेस है, तीन राउंड्स जीतने की। और जो प्लेयर पहले तीन मैचेस जीतेगा, वो बनेगा टेकिन सेवन का विनर। Let the battle begin. Both these gamers are here to win, but there will be only one winner today. Johnny Tank and Hans, welcome to the finals. Welcome to Game One. Johnny Tank, you have had ten perfects अभी तक in your cipher. And Hans, you have had seven, but you have beat Jaunty Tank twice. Today, what do we see? Uh, Jaunty ka game pichle baar se kafi improved tha last time jab khele the. So, aaj ek tough fight dekhne ko mil sakti hai. So, finals are jump ke hone wale. Jump ke hone wale. Jaunty Tank. Yeah, because uh, baaki sab ke saath to game ho chuka hai, and Hans is all the one of the best contenders for Tekken. Yes. And I'm privileged to play uh, finals with him. So I'll get my redemption. I, I hope for that. But definitely, I'll, I'm going to give a tough fight. If you talk about characters, what are you going to do? I'll go with Jack. Again? Haan, Jack Why? has a be uh, better match against Katarina, a top tier character. Hai. Right. Katarina for you? Yes. Again? Yes. She's been my lady luck in the whole tournament, so yeah. I'll go with her. It's going to be an epic fight. All the best, Hans. Thanks, Harun. All the best, Jaunty Tank. Thank you, Harun. Moment of truth. For one last time in Yusaifa Season 1. Ready, set, fight! Hello everyone, welcome back to the Yusaifa League's grand finale of Season 1. It's gonna be the Yakshas versus the Sherdils. On Yakshas, we have Jaunty Tank, and on Sherdils, we have Hans. The 
Vamos lá. Eu vou chutar sua bunda até o inferno. Round one. And the fight begins. A good block at the start of the game from Katrina over here, but now taking some serious amount of damage from Jack Seven over here. Now good blocks from her, but she is stuck into the corners, not giving a single chance to give a comeback into the game. And this is gonna begin with a perfect round two fight. And a good kick towards the low, but good blocks from Katrina as well now. Well, she is in that distance, but when she rushed in and Jack 7 is gonna deal some huge amount of damage on Katrina. Now she is into the corners. Going for the side step, a nice decision. And now it's still not gonna be in the favor as Jack 7 is gonna knock her out. Round three. Fight. A good read at the start of the game. She is blocking really well. But now it looks like Jack7 is going in for the combo. Now Katrina is gonna get stuck into the corners and she is already low on HP. 50% damage already given to her. And now Jack7 taking some amount of damage from Katrina. Looks like a comeback coming in from her and not a single chance given to her. And what a combo execution from Katrina over here. Directly knocking off Jack7. Round 4. Now Jack7 starting off well and going in for the combo and Katrina is just being forced to get into the quarters now and looks, looks like it's going really bad for them and now Katrina into the corners does have the rage art but not even a single chance given to execute it. So the share deals win match number one of best of five three one. Round one. Fight. The game begins and a whip punish to Katrina over here. Both of them maintain their distance, but Katrina, whenever she's going aggressive, Jack7 is just punishing her off. And now she is into the corners, and the second round as well begins with a perfect round two. Fight. Now Katrina being aggressive at the start of the round. And Jackson with that huge hit on Katrina. Katrina now going in for low and mid hit. And looks like this is gonna be again a combo. But she misses the move and not going in for the combo. Well now Jack7 is going low on HP. Well he has a rage out and just a hit away from knockout. Round three. Fight. Well good blocks from Jack7 at the start. And now both of them just maintaining a distance and, and Katrina now going in aggressive. With her move, looks like she is now gonna go for a 7 hitter combo and Jack7 is now stuck into the quarters and what an amazing round from Katrina over here. Round 4. Fight. Well good blocks from Jack7 and he is playing amazingly well in this round. Well it's gonna be a whip punish to Katrina over here Well, she is low on HP and does have the rage out on her but now stuck into the quarters. Just a hit away from her knockout. And now Jack7 playing really smart. Good blocks from both of them. Looks like it's just game of block from these two players. And finally a hit does connect and Hans wins this round. Final round. Fight. Well this is the final round of match number two. And now Jack7 with a nice jackhammer moves and just tossing her into the air. And now going in for the combo. Now Katrina again stuck into the quarters. Not even a single chance given to her. She is now on rage. A hit away and ends the game with a perfect. Sheryl's win match number two, three, two. Round one. Fight. The game begins with a nice mid hit from Jack Seven. Well, he is. Going in for some huge hits on Katrina over here and Katrina now going low but a nice reversal from her as well. But she is already low on HP, just 40% of HP left on her. Looks like a nice combo given on Jack7 seven and 7 hitter from her and Jack7 seven is now into the quarters but a good reply back from him as well. Katrina low on HP, just a hit away from her knockout. Well she pulls the rage out and it doesn't connect. Instead the hit from Jack7 connects and knocks her off. Round two. Fight. And a good block at the start of the game. Jack7 reading the game quite well. And good block from Katrina as well, going for the low blocks. 
and now Jack Seven just putting a lot of pressure over Katrina. Well, she is stuck into the corners. Jack Seven showing no mercy into this game, and now Katrina is just struggling to move out of the corners. And Hans is not gonna make this easy for her. Round three. But this can be the last round for Hans, and if Hans wins this, he is gonna be the undefeated champion of the U Cypher League season one. And looks like he is proving it right. And good clash between these two players. And now Hans is going low on HP, but Katrina is already low. And a good block from the uppercut from and the rage art on Katrina. Well, it does connect. It's gonna deal a huge damage on Hans, but Hans still left on his rage art. Both of them on equal HP, and Hans does have the rage art. And well, it doesn't connect a slide of distance left. And Hans wins the game, the undefeated champion of the U Cypher League season one. And the Shadows wins the game. Congratulations, you Thanks, have won Aisha. every single game of Tekken 7 in U Cypher. Oh, really? Because in this match, I forgot everything in the past, everything in the past, everything in the past, everything in the past. You were like right in the moment. Right in the moment. Man, Jaunty, how did you feel playing in U Cypher throughout? Actually, Not just this game. yeah, the journey for me uh, was pretty exciting because I'm, I don't I don't come from a fighting uh, community background. Uh, losing from a guy who is a pro in Tekken, that gives me no, uh, you know, this thing to crib about because he's a really good player. So, great credit to him on that. Absolutely, man. This is the finals and the Shadils have won the first three points. Congratulations! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are already in time for the first five-pointer game of the finals of you, Cypher. I'm talking about, can you guess? Yes, yeah, CSGO. It's a game that we've all played in some dungeon, some cafe at some point in our life. But Sahil, I gotta tell you, we have a really interesting process by which our captains choose the map that they're gonna play on. Yeah. We call it the map veto. Nice. In fact, our captains are already here, so we should just we should just do it in front of you. Yeah, yeah why not? Awesome. Come on, guys. Alright, Ritz and Skadoosh. You know how important today's game is. I'm not gonna stress upon the fact that it is the finals, but I just did. <laughs> anyway, you guys know the drill. Who's gonna call? I'll call him. Okay. Tails. And it is Tails. You ban. I'll ban Nuke. Inferno. I'll ban Cobblestone. Mirage. I'll ban uh, Cash. Of course, we're playing Train. Train? Yeah. Sure. All right, Skadoosh has picked Train. Uh, this is the third time the Shadows and the Yakshas are going to be playing the Train map. Right. Well, I have sweaty palms, but I'm just going <laughs> to say all the very best. Thank you. All the very best. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Go well. Go well, good. Thank you. इस गेम में दो टीम्स होती हैं, एक टेररिस्ट टीम और दूसरी काउंटर टेररिस्ट टीम। ये एक टीम बेस गेम है जो 5 वर्सेस 5 के फॉर्मेट में खेला जाएगा। प्लेयर्स कौन सा मैप खेलेंगे, ये एक बैनिंग प्रोसेस से तय होगा। शुरुआत में दोनों टीम्स को 800 डॉलर्स की गेम करेंसी मिलती है। the aim of the terrorist team is to plant the bomb and secure it or kill all the counter-terrorists. The aim of the counter-terrorist team is to either defuse the bomb or kill all the terrorists. This match may 30 rounds hongye and the first team to win 16 rounds is the game winner. In the case of a tie, the result will be decided with a race to four wins. Alright guys, so the last two times you guys played against the Yakshas, you also played on train. Yeah. yeah. And you won time. one yeah. and you lost one. We lost 16-10 and we won 16-10. So wow. it was even. So you guys are, are at level ground right now. Yeah. Okay guys, my heart is beating out of its chest. I'm very, very excited to see this. But let's hear from our captain what you have to say to your team. See guys, this is finals. Hai. It's a U cipher. It's an opportunity to get life in my life in my career. Mein. First time ये platform create करके दिया है। I think सबको proud feel होना चाहिए कि अपने parents देख रहे हैं। बार-बार ऐसा taunt मारने का, सुनना है क्या पूरा time game खेल रहा है, क्या उखाड़ा है, ये सब नहीं। ये right time है कि दिखाने का है अपने parents को। उसके लिए खेलो कि जीतना ही है ये game, कुछ भी हालत में। सोचो क्या किया है, क्या उखाड़ा है, time waste किया है, college bunk, school bunk, fail हुआ, exam में वाले आज एक ऐसा मौका मिला है हमें finals में जीत के दिखाना। ठीक है guys, come on.
Finals game number two, I'm with Team Yakshas, who are all set to plan the gameplay out for CSGO. Today, what are you planning? Planning is pretty much the same, it's just timings are different. We'll do 15 seconds late, or we'll do 15 seconds early. This map, it's your city favor. Exactly. Yeah. So, you'll start if you win the knife round. If we win the knife round, I would be in a good position. Yeah, if we win the knife round, I would be in a... Dilemma. Dilemma confusion a little bit because the strategy in this particular tournament has been made of players. The T side is more favorable because you can apply a lot of pressure on the enemy. You have started to kill your T side. And you have at least 7 or 8 rounds. So the map is the T side. You can switch to the T side and easily rounds. Basically, first time they did it. Yeah. So individually, the request is to live. It's difficult to kill them. Because when they don't understand how to kill you, it will be wrong with them. Today, if we have killed them, then there is no important match. The most important match is this. Show everybody why Yakshas deserve to be in the final. The CSGO team. Yeah. Go in for the kill, win it for the team Yaksha. Yeah? Let's go! Come on. Hello everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Throughout the season one of the USIP League, we witnessed some amazing perfects, great knockouts, huge sixes, few wickets going down, aces, rampages and whatnot. But today it's gonna be the grand finale of season one. I'm excited. The players are ready and are you guys ready for the USIP League season one of the Counter-Strike Global Offensive? So let's jump into the knife round between the Yakshas and the Shadels and Karush gets the first kill on Falcon. Grace giving a nice stab on Impale over here. Mantri getting a good frag on Freaky. Let's put one more kill. And now it's gonna be a 2 on 3. And Starboy alone left in this situation in a 1 on 3. He is half on his HP. Just running away for his life. Just juking the players over here. Like he gets a stab. And finally he goes down by Ritz. And the Shadels win the knife round. And they choose to play as CTs. Start of the round, like, at the pistol round, most of the teams prefer to go towards the inner side. But the Yakshas are trying something different today. And now it's going to be Falcon towards mid. Well, he spots Skadoosh over there. And finally, he gets him down with a great headshot. Which towards the alley side gets a frag on Impale. And Mantri holding towards the inner for a push. Coming in for Freaky, he goes down as well. And over to the alley, Sawa gets a good shot on Ritz, making it a 3 on 3 situation for his teammates. Falcon coming in but couldn't connect his shot onto Starboy and Starboy gets him down with a great head shot and Mantri towards the inner bomb side he goes down and now going to plant the C4 towards the inner bomb side it's gonna be a two on three situation Buster and slots on the Shadels and Mantri Starboy and Recall Master for the Yakshas and so like slowly Buster moving towards the inner side and gets a great head shot over Mantri he goes down and now it's gonna be a 2 on 2 situation where the smoke has been deployed and Sloss is going for the diffuse in the smoke. Well, he does it and the share builds win the first round. But the extra still on an eco round. This would be the last eco for them, uh, as I believe, because they are like low on economy right now. But the next round they would surely go in for a buy. So the inner, inner rush coming in from the Yakshas. We don't need to go here, but we all have to go here. We killed four people like this, because they were going to rush me. I was confirmed that I had to go here first. And I told him to go here first, and I told him to go here first. And I told him to go here first. And freaky amazing four kills coming in for him. And Buster just completing the formality by getting Skadoosh as the last frag. The Shadils are just dominating the Yakshas now. And now it's gonna be the last round of the first half. Looks like an outer push coming in from the Yakshas and Buster is just ready over there but gets an instant trade-off from Recall Master as well. Ritz holding a good angle with his op towards the entrance over here and gets an amazing shot on Mantri. Mantri goes down. Well, Skadoosh onto the CT. He gets a shot on Sloths and the second frag as well on Freaky. 
Now it's gonna be impaled towards the alley side. He shuts down Falcon. Now it's gonna be Rage the captain. He goes down at the last. So 13 to 2 is gonna be the first half. It's time for the second half of this game and the Sheridans are leading the scoreboard with a huge lead. 13-2. So it looks like the Sheridans are moving towards the alley and that's gonna be an aggressive push from their side and now Buster getting the first frag on Mantri and Freaky gets the second kill on Starboy over here well recall master with his p2000 he is just struggling with his bullets nice shot given to freaky over there and now it's gonna be slots to plant the c4 into the smoke he is trying to play some cheeky moves over here but impel couldn't connect his shots onto him and finally he does on his head and instantly trade-offs going off on the ground right now it's gonna be rich who's low on 6 hp he is playing from the connectors, slowly moving towards Skadoo. Skadoo doesn't have any info that he's coming from behind and Rain Pale is gonna shut him down as Riz was low on HP. So the Akshas win the second half first pistol round. So the Akshas are also making a comeback and not making it easy for the Shadils to win this game. The Sheridans are now on match point and they need this round to win the Counter-Strike Grand Finale. Well, the smoke's going in towards the alley side and Falcon is like completely flat and slots as well but they're still gonna move towards the alley side because it looks like it's gonna be a split push coming in from the Sheridans. When you look at the mini-map, like there are two players moving towards the inner side and two towards the alley and now it's going one three towards the alley side he, on, he is gonna go down by falcon well amazing gameplay from the shadows going for a split push in the last round well falcon getting a nice shot over starboy as well but he had instantly traded from recoil master now it's gonna be a three on four situation buster with amazing headshot to recoil master what a flick shot from him and skardouche managed to get one frag but couldn't connect the second bullet on the player now freaky going in for the backstab and yes he does it and the shadows win the counter-strike match for the grand finale standing with two of my favorite captains of you cypher and throughout that game of CSGO you guys for the third time played the same map and you got the same score and the share this took it away you guys now have eight points captain cool you look really drained for the last time possibly on you cypher what was rushing through your head? I was just enjoying the moment. I mean, like, Freaky was killing each and every round. Three kills, focus, three kills, focus. Well, Freaky, Mike, I'm going to say, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to target you. I'm going to Well, that's classic for the Shaders. You guys are always composed. But isn't this a little troubling for the Yakshas? Because not only did these guys win, they also had a lot of fun. But I know that Skadoosh takes these things to heart and he takes it very seriously. Is he sweating now? No, it's fine now. We're just gonna play for the toss. <laughs> yeah, because the upcoming games are your strengths. Statistically speaking, those are what the Yakshas have been the most consistent with. Yes. Right? And it just so happened that our first two games of the day were your strengths. But that should give the Shadil some momentum, right? Yes. Has it? Yeah, obviously. I'm... Cricket mein aar kuch chamatkar ho bas. <laughs> I don't want to reach to, uh, to Dota. You don't want to get there only. My God, so it actually does mean that this game of Real Cricket 17 could really change things around. If these guys win it, it's over. It's over. Yeah. This CSGO game was an absolute treat. Thank you for that. Congratulations. You so the Shaders are at eight points and you guys are going to hope for a draw. Yes. There are still two games left and right now, the best that could happen for the Yakshas is a draw. We didn't see this coming right at the beginning, did we? Oh wait, I did. Third battle of the final of India's only multi-platform, multi-gaming, multiplayer eSports Championship you cipher is a video game version of a game that is considered to be the religion of India. Yes, I am talking about Real Cricket 17 by Nautilus Mobile. This is a batting only match. Hai. Har player will face one over, which will make maximum runs. 
मैक्सिमम रन बनाने वाला प्लेयर मैच जीत जाएगा टाई होने पर दोनों प्लेयर्स एक सुपर ओवर खेलेंगे टू डिसाइड द विनर With me, I have Ibot and Aggressive, all set to play the game three of the finals. Aggressive, आपको बस एक reminder रहिए. If you win this one, that's it. The trophy is yours. Shardars will win you cipher. Ibot, you are the most skilled player in this game. Only one loss. आज अगर आप यहाँ नहीं जीते, so Shardars will take the trophy home. तो कितना pressure है आपके? प्रेशर तो है बिकॉज दो गेम हम लोग हारे पहले मैं जीतता हूँ तो डोटा भी जीतेगा मुझे गारंटी है उन पर ट्राई होगा तो टाई पे भी कुछ भी हो सकता है हम लोग का सी एस भी जीत सकता है डोटा भी जीत सकता है तो मुझे मेरे पे कॉन्फिडेंस है और मेरी टीम के ऊपर कॉन्फिडेंस है डोटा के राइट टाइम फॉर द टॉस कौन कॉल कर रहा है मोमेंटम इनकी साइड है टॉस भी लोग जीत रहे हैं चलेगा तो कितना भी मारे मैं चेस कर दूंगा ऑल द बेस्ट आई बॉट ऑल द बेस्ट एग्रेसिव वन लास्ट टाइम ऑन यू साइफर सीजन वन आई बॉट वॉस इज एग्रेसिव हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द गेम ऑफ रियल क्रिकेट इट्स कैन बी द मैच बिटवीन द यक्षाज and the शेदिल्स ऑन यक्षाज वी हैव आई बॉट एंड ऑन शेदिल्स वी हैव अनूप अग्रेसिव इट्स कैन बी शेदिल्स टू बैट फर्स्ट The first ball comes in, and that's a good whack towards the boundary. It's going for a four. Second ball of the over, and that's a huge hit. It's going for a six. Third ball comes in. and that's a great shot directly into the audience it's a six so three balls 16 runs the fourth ball of the over and the ball stop let's see how many runs he can get it's going to be two runs second last ball into the air directly out of the stadium it's a six Last ball of the over. And that's a huge hit but it's going to go for a four. Nice. So the Akshas need 29 runs to win this game. First ball comes in for the Akshas, and that's straight down the middle. It's going for a six. The second ball comes in, and that's huge. And it's going into the air and directly out the stadium. It's a six. The third ball of the over. and again it's going to go out of the boundary it's a six again so three balls 18 runs and that's a huge hit it's going for a six again so if the yakshas hit another six they are going to win this game the second last ball and looks like it is going for a six and yes it is a six and the yakshas win the game फाइनल्स है इतना प्रेशर 29 स्कोर इज अ डिसेंट नंबर ऑफ रन्स चेस करने का टाइम बहुत है और आप छक्के पे छक्के मारे जा रहे हो वो भी यॉर्कर पे भैया जीतना ही था तो करना ही था क्योंकि नेक्स्ट डोटा है मेरा तो उन लोग का कुछ टेंशन नहीं रहेगा अगर मैं जीता हूं अभी तो वो लोग भी जीत सकते हैं अभी वेल बिकॉज़ ऑफ यू यक्षास आर स्टिल इन द गेम आफ्टर गेम 3 द स्कोर्स आर शेयर्ड इज एट 8 एंड यक्षास एट 3 
one more game to go. That game can be a decider. If Sherdils win, they take the championship home. But if the Yakshas win, they tie it up and we enter our tiebreaker. Keep watching your Saifan Air Sport Night Superstars. A lot more to come. After that stupendous performance by Ibot, the Yakshas are at three and the Sherdils are at eight. Yeah. Now, at most, the Yakshas can hope for a draw, which will be decided by this game of Dota 2. So, for the last time and for your benefit, Sohit, Thank you. let's have a look <laughs> at the rules. Dota 2 may her player up nile ek hero select karenge. This game may two teams compete karenge in a 5 vs 5 format. Her hero ke paas special powers or abilities hoti hai. Her team ka objective hai apne ancients ko defend karna or apne opponent ke sari towers ko destroy kar dena. Jo team pehle enemy team ke defense ko tor kar unke sari towers destroy kar degi, wo team jitegi. How are you guys feeling? Great. No nerves? Obviously, there are some nerves, but uh, it's cool. It's my game, so I'm pretty confident about it. How does it feel, Rich, to, to come into it winning the first two, Tekken and CSGO? I think surely confidence is up after those? Yeah. A lot. Confidence is up a lot. Because it's a must win or draw. So he will be under the pressure. So you guys don't mind being the underdogs? No, not at all. Akrid, about yeah. this pressure, mm -hmm. this is not just any Dota 2 game. Today has to be different. Yes, it would be. It's going to be different because uh, today Arya Par wala scene hai. So, chhodi koi mistakes. There's no room for error. Absolutely. So we're just gonna play a perfect and disciplined game. Hope you guys get on with the show and have a great grand finale here. It's the final competition, and we might have a tie if those guys win. So, uh, good luck. Extra little bit of pressure for you guys. Thank you. No, Enjoy we it. have to make this a draw. All the very best. Beginning of the end is upon us as the Yorkshire stake on the shells in the finale of U Cypher Season 1. And we make with me is Cloud X. And boy, have both these teams come a really long way. Yeah, indeed they have Yakshas and Sherdils on an absolute high note right now. Starting off as complete raw elements, now coming out as near polished diamonds towards the end of season one. One team will take it all here. It's it's been a rather closely contested early game no side is willing to take the risks a lot of points riding on this game and uh, vp in the mid lane i mean just doing his thing yeah but trying to set up as good a lane as possible for the viper a lot of back and forth no one taking the bait just yet but disruption is dropping low does vp want to pursue he's got the crush the vipers there has the damage and that's first blood going to the yakshas here the Three to two with a minor net worth lead going in favor of the Yakshas. Not a commanding lead. This grand final really close for now. VP is coming in to try and extend that lead. He gets the crush off on Mamasita. He does have that poison attack coming upon him as well, courtesy the Viper. Appa is not going to get this kill here. Mamasita is just going to be able to TP out. However, the Spirit Breaker may not be as fortunate. He's sticking down to the damage over time and will indeed drop. Lane, Kalnai has the Doom, he wants to run down the Phantom Lancer, doing a fair amount of work with the Infernal Blade, the Shockwave coming through as well, I think it nearly ended up missing there, Disruption's in with the charge, no, but VP just surging forward, ignores the Static Storm, he wants the Phantom Lancer, the Crush, it connects on the Spirit Breaker and the Disruptor, but the Phantom Lancer is still alive, and Rival will look to turn to the Doppelganger, he finds the Slada, and Kalnai in no man's land with not too much mana, might be next on the hit list, the side trap is there, Mama Sita comes in, and Rival picks up a double kill. But this is time and space for Appa on that Viper to take down a tier 1 tower. Viper is getting absolutely huge at this point and I'm really not sure what they have in their arsenal to deal with him going into the mid game stage. As I say that they'll bring him back, they're looking for this kill here, doing a fair bit of damage upon him but it's just not enough. In fact look at him, he just mans up, turns around, disruptions the one to go down, the crush not even committed there. VP just here for moral support while his teammate gets the kill. 
Bon lane channels, they have committed the charge, they've knocked back, acted into the stack stumble, look at Appa, he's just got eyes on the disruptor, will find that kill, Khans being controlled by the Hellbear Smasher, will end up falling, Appa doing work with the helm of the Dominator here, picks up a quick double, and all this while, acted, he's just been farming away, in fact, the Akshas might chase for more, acted picks up a kill, three heroes come to get the Medusa, and all three of them end up falling. Yeah, I've got the pleasure of having the founder of Cypher with me, someone who's obviously conquered the world of film and business in some senses, moved over to sport with Kabaddi and you dream football. But why eSports, Ronnie? Well, look, I think this is a, a very exciting time. eSports really came about 2010. Yeah. So I think, you know, India plays catch up on so many sports. Look at football, we're still catching up, right? Uh, and I think here we've got a huge opportunity to have a head start. Yeah. So I think uh, the vision here for us is very clearly to make it a global sport coming out of India, to take our teams globally, to get global players to come in here, all yeah. of that. You know, we've already seen a following of over a billion people now for this sport, and it's, it's only growing. But where do you see it headed in the next, say, five to ten years? Not just globally, but in India as well. Well, you see, the Indian market, I think, is really going to depend on the mobile penetration because I think we have the PC, we have the mobile, and then we have the uh, other aspects. And I think here, this is going to be much more mobile and a yeah. slightly PC-driven market. So I think we've got incredible headroom. The, unfortunately, the part is when we always talk about a billion, we think of India, and th we're a very small portion of that billion right now. But I think to pick up 100 million people that are going to be deeply involved with a very interactive sport like this, uh, that's really the vision. We've had 36 days of incredible action, non-stop mm, action. Mm, mm. You see this going live at some point? See, I think it should have gone live in the first tournament and the only reason we chose not to is because India, uh, this sport needs to be understood by a lot of people and so we want to simplify, we want to explain it. If it went too live, it would be only for the hardcore gamers. Right. By us to, for the first year not going live, yeah. we've included a lot of people who we want to come into this game and uh, absolutely. Otherwise, this feeling that you get when you're going to watch it is a sense of life. Yeah. Well, Ronnie, thanks for the chat. Thank you. We can hear the animation yeah, going on behind us. So let's there. take you straight back to the action. This is the grand finale. It all rides on this game of Dota 2. The Yakshas looking for an early push. BP jumps in, the crush is there, global signs to follow. They have taken down the tier 3 tower. Disruption needs to be careful. The Corrosive Gaze is there, controlling him. Nether Strike, though, knocking back the Slada. Stone Gaze will push back the Shadows as their barracks are under siege. The Yakshas applying pressure early on. Mamasina goes in with the Melded, does a fair bit of damage. Will find BP quick glimpse, pushing the lag out of position. Disruption goes in with the charge. The Purification helps out, but he's finally going to end up falling. Appa and Earth did just too much, and they scored early in the melee barracks. 24 minutes in, the Yakshas are looking for the finish. The Shellers, they didn't expect this to go down so quickly. Appa, he's gonna end up falling, but that's only the ages. And the Mystic Snake will find the kill for Akrid onto the Omni Knight. VP's back, he's gone in with the Crush, controlling the Templar Assassin. Mama Sita wants to fight, he's got the Corrosive Ace upon him, but with the Desolator, he'll bring down the Slada and Shellers. I mean, I, they, this isn't going as per plan. This was supposed to be the grand finale, but just 24 minutes in, they've lost the lane of Varex. They do manage to glimpse back the Viper. This is what they need to catch. Yaksha is on the retreat, and they're going to find a mega kill streak on the back of that. The Viper just had a free time. Appa barely died throughout this game. He got too huge, and I mean, when Appa gets huge, as a Viper that comes online early, he can make all the space in the world for the Medusa. Now they're gonna go in. Kalai does get the Storm off. They drop the Static Storm down, but they haven't quite trapped anyone in there. The dust were popped, and Akrid was in position with the Storm Gaze. This is going horribly wrong for the Shadows. They're the ones on the run now, despite being the first ones to smoke and make a move. The Kinetic Field was dropped. Kalai gets that Inferno Blade off. Khans, he's taking down a lot of damage over time there, but he gets back to the Shrine in time. Yaksh Probably don't want to go chasing up onto the high ground like this, but if BP can come in with a big crush, there it is! He catches three with the crush, has the amp damage thrown upon Rival as well, but now he's here, getting glimpsed right back again. This has gone on for way too long, and it's given accurate time to climb up onto the high ground again. They've brought down the Omni Knight, and they've lost the Spirit Breaker as well on the side of the Shadows, with Mama Sita dropping next. Could this be all she wrote for the Shadows? Kalnayak and BP give him crash chase, another two-man crush, a doom to follow it up. It's gonna be the death of one, and then the death of the other with the fat lancer dropping it's a team wipe in favor of the yakshas that forces out the gg call from the shadows at the finals of u cypher season one
well, 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 let's just recap this for you because we could not have written a better script even if we tried. Let's go backwards. 1-0 to the Shedos after Tekken. 2-0 after CSGO. 2-1 with the Yakshas pulling it back after real cricket. And when it all mattered, when everything was on the line, 2-2 and they forced a tiebreaker. We have everything to play for in the tiebreaker. I'm going to welcome the two captains here, Acrid and Ritz. I know one of you is going to be the happier of the lot. Well done, Acrid. You've kept you guys in the hunt. Ritz, disappointing. How shocked are you with this? I mean, I'm pretty shocked. I mean, we were in the momentum. I think now I think I have to go for a tiebreaker and just grab a CS if I win the toss. Well, Akrid, how happy are you now? I'm very happy right now, but I'm just waiting for the toss because uh, <laughs> it all depends on the toss right now. This shiny piece of silverware has a lot riding on it, doesn't it? Yes. Do you guys know? Well, we all kind of figure where you're going to go with it. Any surprises as to where you'll go once you win the toss, or are you pretty clear about what, what you want to do? If I win, I'll go Dota 2. What about if you? If I win, I'll go for CS. Well, only one thing left to do. Gentlemen, who's going to call it? I'll call it this time. Okay, Ritz is calling. Heads. Heads it is. CS. So, there you have it. It will be Counter-Strike to decide the winner, the inaugural champions of U Cypher. This is the map, Vito, and now let's see what do they choose. It's going to be Cash. Ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this. The final game of the U-Cypher League Season 1 of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. The Yakshas somehow draw the match between them and now the Shadils won the loss and they have chosen to play Counter-Strike as the final game for this match. And Recall Master getting the first hit on Falcon. Falcon goes down, Stopper with a nice backstab. And Mantri getting the final kill on Ritz. Basically, the knife round strategy was not time. We have to get a knife from the other side. We have to get a knife from the city side, we have to get a terrorist side. And luckily, we have to get a knife from the other side. So the Yakshas won the knife round and they choose to play as T's first. Well, usually the Shadils choose T, but this time the Yakshas won and they have turned the tables around. And now a rush coming in from the Yakshas towards the B side. Well, Buster going in for the jiggle peaks and get a nice shot on one three. He's gonna be the first frag and also with a nice second shot on the player. Ridge going in for the third kill and slots with a great headshot over here. Well, Skadoosh managing to get a kill on Freaky towards the mid. Well, Ritz pushing in towards the vent room. Skadoosh coming in from the city side, but I think so. He did give footsteps to slots and now slots giving him some decent damage towards the city entrance that he's coming from. Now Ritz with a great angle towards the city entrance and a great one tap from Ritz to Skadoosh. The Shadils have the momentum in the game, winning all the rounds one after the other. Let's jump into round number nine. Ritz holding the angle towards mid gets a shot. On recall master, he goes down and another shot on impale towards the roof boost. He goes down as well. Now Skadoosh moving on to the side. Spots a player, but he did hear a player moving towards blue doors. He gives him an amazing headshot. What a gameplay. And slots comes in with a return fire on him as well. Well, Ritz still holding towards mid. Gets an amazing shot on Mantri as well. The captain has taken the responsibility in his own hands right now. It's gonna be Starboy alone with the C4 and a P250 towards mid. Ritz still holding the same angle and shuts him down as well. Well, what an amazing gameplay from the captain of the Shadows. So this is gonna be the last round of the first half where the game is going pretty intense between these two teams and the Shadows are comfortable with their score. A boost coming in for Starboy towards the garage and uh, let's see what is he is planning to do. He is actually just looking for the backstab and Oppo is there for the shot and the molly goes in but there is no one to peek out. But the Shadils are holding towards the highway side and Starboy is like just... Starboy is just moving slowly towards the mid. Well, he gets a shot 
on Buster. Well, Buster goes down, making it a one-man advantage for them. The Shazels are on Eco. Well, Rance missing that shot. He goes down as well. And Sauber with the third kill on Slots. And Slot goes down, making it a 2v5 situation. And Skadoosh with an off shot from the truck. Well, Freaky is down as well. Now it's all on Falcon with his Deagle and armor. But no kit on him. So... He is just gonna risk it and going in, but he goes down as well by Impale. So 9 to 6 is the first half. I am standing with the oracles of not just CSGO, but of you, Cypher, for yep. possibly the last time this season. Yep. And we are in the middle of a very engaging CSGO game. Uh, I believe the Shades will start off stronger, but the Yaksha seem to be making a comeback. They are. They know what's at stake and it's the final match. They're showing what they're really made out of and why they are in the finals. Man, yeah, let's not forget, these are the finals, I can feel it. I hope you guys can see it from the other side of the screen. Everyone here is buzzing with a lot of nervous energy and my stomach is hurting because I'm so curious to find out who is going to take this trophy. It's time for second half of this game and now the Shadels have a nice three-point lead on them. It looks like a rush coming in from the Shadels towards the A warehouse and two towards the blue doors. Well, it's gonna be Buster who's holding an angle, but it's Skadoosh is not pushing uh, too, too much towards the A warehouse. And now Starboy holding a good angle towards the side and gets an amazing shot on Freaky. Impel comes into the second track and Starboy with one more trade off over onto the side. Well, Buster is now alone left and Impel is gonna end the misery for him. The Yakshas are now making a comeback into the game and not making it easy for the Shadils. So now the score is tied up 10 all. Let's jump into round number 21. Starboy playing aggressive towards the mid and Falcon with a nice boost on the roof. Sabo is very well. Falcon spots him, and but he couldn't do much damage, and he goes down by taking a great headshot from Starboy. Starboy just managing to give a huge damage to Slots, but Slots instantly blowing his head off off his shoulders. And now it's gonna be freaky going towards the end. But Impale comes in with a great headshot and shuts him down, making it a three on four situation but still slots is just left on two hp so kind of it's like a two on three situation and impale getting two instant kills with his m4 on towards the a warehouse and now this comes in with a nice trade off onto skadoosh making it a one on three for himself but he is low on hp as well going towards the forklift impale shuts him down so now the yaksas take the lead on the scoreboard well, the Yakshas are now on match point and the Shadils are now making a comeback in the game as well, not making this game easy for the Yakshas to win it. Let's jump into the last round. Well, a very passive play coming in from the Shadils. They are not rushing on towards any bomb set and just waiting for the players to make a mistake from the Yakshas. And well, Freaky gets down Sardosh on towards the city mid where he was standing and Yakshas are on eco and semi buys coming in from them as well but Impale towards the A warehouse gets a frag and Rika Master getting straight up on towards the B bomb site. now it's gonna be a 3 on 3 situation Buster holding towards Ventrum gets a shot on Impale who was entering from the vents from the mid and now he they are totally flashed a 2 on 3 situation they don't have like very well weapons on them Starboy goes down and risks getting the final frag on month 3 the game has done let's jump into overtime of this game अच्छा खासा कमबैक कर दिया और ओवरटाइम में लेके आए बोला यार ओवरटाइम से भी हारना नहीं है वही मोमेंटम बिल्ड करना है तो मैंने फाल्कन को सजेस्ट किया फाल्कन पुराना वाला डिफॉल्ट कर दे डिफॉल्ट में वो लोग प्रेडिक नहीं करेंगे वो लोग सिचुएशन में हाइपर होके किधर तो एक मिस्टेक करेंगे वही मिस्टेक का फायदा उठाना है वेल व्हाट अ ग्रैंड फिनाले टू बी विटनेस्ड टुडे दिस इज एन अमेजिंग गेम प्ले फ्रॉम द शेडल्स एंड द अक्षास व्हाट एन अमेजिंग मैच टू बी सीन ओवर हियर well, it's gonna be impaled to come in towards the air warehouse. He thought that Freaky might go on reload, but he wasn't. And now Starboy coming in. He gets a nice trade-off on Freaky. Well, Falcon sneaking in towards the city mid. But the players have no info that he is coming in from there. And now it's gonna be Skadoosh. He spots him and taking a huge damage, but still managing to shut Skadoosh down. And Recoil Master still. 
he had no info that a player has entered and he goes down and now it's gonna be monthly to go down on the side well last guy starboy is on to the a bomb side he is saving his weapon but ritz is not gonna make that happen for him Well, this is the last round of the overtime shadels need one round to win this game and the yakshas have to draw it if they want to take this to the next overtime but the shadels are now on eco they have no economy on them and th they are on upgrade pistols like deagles cz's and p250s as well but the blue door opens and falcon going down and impel with the second frag coming in onto reds well, Starboy burning to death with his own teammate Smalls over here and now recall master towards the CT mid gets a frag and now a great backstab coming in from Buster. He gets a douche and recall master just struggling over here. Gets two Kinson kills but now it's going for another overtime. So let's see. This is going to be a very exciting game between these two teams. The Yakshas have taken a huge lead from the Sheridils now and they need one round to win this game. And a good pop flash coming in towards the A warehouse for Impale and he gets down freaky. Well Starboy holding a great angle towards the quads. Pointing out towards the forklift a good angle from his side. But well, it's gonna be Buster holding towards the blue doors and now Ritz. Looks like a flash popping in and it's gonna be raining frags all over the server. Well, good mollies and flashes raining onto the side. It's gonna be Starboy holding a nice position still. Very calm and a great headshot to Red. He goes down second kill on slots as well. But Buster coming in from Blue Rose. He gets a final frag on Starboy and Impel coming in with a trade frag. It's now all on Falcon, the in-game leader for the Sheridils. He is the lone man standing for them in a one-on-three situation. Well, he is moving in slowly towards the highway. But goes down by Skadoosh. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the winners. It's gonna be the Yakshas. It was a game worthy of a grand finale. There had to be only one winner, and therefore, there are awards and rewards to give away. So joining me in the presentation party. Before I get to the team awards, it's only right that we go through the individual awards. I'd like to welcome our presentation party here. We've got Ronnie Struvala, the co-founder of Cipher. We've got Supatik Sen, the co-founder and CEO of Cipher. Shine Hamsotia, business head of Cipher, And Amar Ratnam, our eSports expert from Cipher as well. Welcome, gentlemen. So our first award of the night is the most valuable player of the tournament and it goes to Hans Gupta, a.k.a. Hans025 from the Share Builder. Congratulations. Woo! Our next award of the night, the Gamer's Gamer, GG, goes to Rishabh 11 Bed from the Yodas. Woo! And our next award of the night, the best Tekken player, again, Hans from the Share Builder. Moving on to our next award of the night, the best real cricket player goes to the man who really was superb under pressure, Shubham Ibot More of the Yaksha. <laughs> Let's have the best Dota team, it's a popular one and it was too close to call so we've got a tie here, the Yakshas and the Yodas for a tie. Right, moving on to another really popular award, the best CSGO team. No points for guessing here, the Akramux. Right, moving on from our individual awards to the big boys. The two teams that really fought tooth and nail to the very end. And this one is a heartbreaker. The runners-up of the inaugural edition of U Cipher goes to the Sheddles. Trophy to be presented by Ronnie Struvala, the co-founder of Cipher. Finally, the 
the 14 men that truly showed character to bounce back from the brink of defeat and etch their names in Indian gaming folklore. The inaugural champions of U Cypher, the Yakshas. It's been a long journey, a fabulous journey where we've changed the landscape of pro gaming in India forever. If you guys want to watch the complete gameplay of all the matches in Ucypher, you can log on to usports.in and begin the journey from a regular cyber athlete to a professional esports star. Also, a huge shout out to all the cyber athletes in India. And to participate in Ucypher Season 2, you can log on to usports.in and play the qualifiers. We'd also like to thank our gaming partners, Circle Gaming, and our publishers, Valve Corporations, Bandai Namco, Nautilus Mobiles, and the Sony PlayStation 4. With that, we come to the end of the grand finale of the first season of India's only multi-platform, multi-gaming, multiplayer esports championship, U Cypher. Naya sport, naya superstars. Well, our work here is done, isn't it? So, we've celebrated. We've really enjoyed every minute of these 37 days, but I promise we'll be back bigger, better, and stronger in season two. But from Aisha, Varun, and myself, we have to sign off. And until next time, you cipher. Ye stage pe aake, finals pe aake, to bura lag raha hai mere ko se Hans ke liye kyunki Hans. ने इतना कैरी किया है हमको बहुत पॉइंट्स दिलाए फाइनल्स तक भी उसी के वजह से हम यहाँ पे पहुँचे आई एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू क्विट एज अ लेजेंड नॉट एज अ लूजर देन मे बी आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट सीजन आई विन एंड आई क्विट अगर मुझे अपनी विक्ट्री किसी एक चीज़ को क्रेडिट करनी हो तो वो मेरे टीम का पैशन होगा सब ने काफ़ी हार्ड वर्क किया है और सारे के सारे जो मेरे टीम में है वो काफ़ी पैशनेट है तो मैं उसी को ये क्रेडिट करना चाहूँगा अगर मुझे वापस सीजन टू में आने का मौका मिलता है तो ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू गेट बैक टू बैक चैम्पियनशिप्स